Happy New Year everyone! So what I wanted to talk to you about today was disability and dog training. Now let me just get this off my chest. Disability sucks. It really, really sucks. Um, I can't currently really walk very much at the moment. I'm currently relying on a walking stick. Um, I have essentially a broken leg that requires surgery but due to I mean, bone cancer a few years ago everything's a lot more complicated and it's, it's, a, it's a shitty situation uh, to be in. However, I have dogs that need me. I work with dogs still and I've had to adapt to my physical capabilities. So basically I'm saying you cannot miss out on training with your dogs for any reason. It's not okay. If it means you have to adjust what you do to your physical and mental capabilities, then do that. If you have to get a, a friend in or a trainer in to help you, then do that. But your dogs need you to train them. Dogs need a job. It's really, really important. And you can adapt. You can adapt to whatever situation that you're in. Just like I have done. I've got a very successful behaviour consultation process um, that I can manage with my leg in the way that in and all the, everything that comes with that, the exhaustion, um, high doses of ridiculous um, you know, drugs to help control the pain, um, you know, limited ability to um, concentrate on the computer for example, which of course hampers writing up reports etc. But um, I'm not only managing, I'm doing well because at the end of the day, if I wasn't able to do it, I wouldn't do it because it's not fair to clients. Clients are paying and, you know, for a service and I deliver that service well. So today I'm just doing a little bit of um, choice training with one of my favourite uh, clients' dogs, uh, Fudge. Um, so I'm showing you how I'm adapted to that. So I've had to come onto the field with a walking stick, which sucks um, because my uh, walking stick here. And then I've come with also with a um, fold-up chair, which I'm going to um, show you now. Just bear with me, because as I say, I struggle on my legs. So can you see that there? Now, let me tell. You. Oh, good job! So, um, would you just come to say hi? I don't think you can see him there. There we go. Good job! So, um, obviously, I've not come with a stool like that. It's a really brilliant um, stool that you, um, you just twist. It's very, very easy to... It takes about three seconds to set it up. You just twist it to lock it in place, and then pull and twist it to unlock it, and it just goes into a really small um, disc shape that you can put over your um, shoulder. So I'm not saying it's ideal, um, because I can't do nice training walks where I'm dropping uh, treats on the um, floor for fudge. So um, I tend to let him have the freedom, because that's also just as important in uh, training. Good job! Making some fantastic choices here, fudge. So um, I'm letting, letting him get up here in the, in the way that he wants to. I could still um, mess about stopping and waiting for him to um, stop pulling on the lead, although he barely, barely pulls anyway, to be honest. He's a pretty, uh, pretty good dog. Um, but, but I could go through all that, but you know, I've got a limited ability to walk on my leg, and sometimes this means compromise. So letting him get hit up here I want to save time, and then shutting up and training, basically. And this is a message I want to send to everybody out there who's feeling really shitty, feeling like they can't do this, they can't do that, for whatever it, it may be. Maybe it's a, a, a mental reason or, you know, like a, a mental disability or impairment or, or you know, a physical ability. And uh, believe me, if I was in a wheelchair, I'll, I would be having somebody uh, wheel me up here to do exactly the same thing. And there will actually be, when I've had surgery, a significant amount of time I'll be spending in a wheelchair. And that's at a point where I'm able to actually get out of bed at all. So um, I'll be lying virtually completely still for six weeks and you better believe it, I'll still be dog training. So I just wanted to um, send this message out here. If you've got a disability and you need help with training, get in touch. 
if um, you just need some moral support because um, you know let's face it unless you've got a disability um, you don't know how it feels and you know as, as empathetic as people can be you, you need somebody who's suffering the same really to fully understand it just get in touch and um, I'm, I'm always um, got my ear open to anybody who just wants to have a moon and get stuff off the chest and also people that need help with practical solutions to um, dog training. I, I wouldn't charge you uh, for this. I, I generally care, um, primarily care about the dog's welfare and training is absolutely crucial for that. So um, this is why I'm recording uh, this message. All right then, um, I'm going to shut up and train now and uh, you can see it in action. Thanks then, bye. I've got my... This is Woody, um, so the training walk is much more important um, for Woody and his particular issues. So what I've done is a risk assessment as I do for every dog and every time my health changes. So even with dogs I've been working with for a long time, I um, would do a new risk assessment to bear that in mind. So I'm out today, I've got my chair for because um, I'm going to need to sit down about every um, five minutes at which point... I'll do some targets with Woody, I'll do some other things, choice training, and the um, actual lead is attached to my training vest. Um, he can pull on the lead quite strong, but he's, he's a small dog, so not strong enough to pull me over. So that leaves my um, one hand free for my um, walking stick, as you can see, and for delivering treats. Good choice! Good job! And I, I have my uh, little fold-up chair over my um, shoulder as well. So that's how I'm doing this training walk with my um, current physical capabilities. Of course, all my clients are aware exactly of the situation and they're kept up to date with any changes. And that does sometimes mean that... Um, good choice! That does sometimes mean that I'm going to need um, help so trainees except family help etc and they're fully aware of that and uh, they get plenty of notice because obviously if, it, if it's not me do, doing the work with the dog then they have the right to say no and also if they're not happy with the current arrangement with my um, physical capabilities um, they, they also have very much have the um, right to say no good job so I'm off now with him so this is another case of shut up and train